Forest of Dean, Camp Shaky, Christmas do. Not much snow. We had some rain and wind last night, which was pretty hectic, but what can you do? Here we are, just a good pan around on park next to uh, Grizzly Jay. This is Oz Tent, super magnificent, fantastic thing that it is. And then you come to mine, which isn't quite so super fantastic, but of course there's the Land Rover, as usual. And now I've got the uh, awning thing on the side to give me a covered cook area. Let me just give you a quick view inside. Here we go, look. Uh, water bowl for the dog, not me. Water jug, waste jug, essentials, 12 volt auxiliary power unit, uh, pots and pans are hung up on there. There's a little fold up table that you may have seen in one of my other videos. And of course the essentials, the cooking, the uh, washing up do, all that sort of thing. Bit of a tip for you, if you do take stuff like this out, <clears throat> excuse me, you've got a bad throat today, uh, wrap some tape around it. Right, that'll, you see, you see that? Are you going to focus? This thing never focuses. I must get a better one. Anyway, this is my hand sanitizer. but if you wrap some electrical tape around it when you're carrying it in your pockets or whatever, it won't leak on you, or at least it will minimise the leak. Uh, let me come through to... You've seen all this before. This is my tenty bit. That's where I sleep. Okay, and up there. Into the Land Rover, where the dog sleeps, unless he's on my bed, of course. And then through there, you've got the rest of the Land Rover and all the rest of my kit to make it like a home from home. Plus like it blew a bit last night, it rained really badly and this old tent didn't do so bad. I thought it was going to be much worse than it was, but yeah, it did all right. So I'm very happy with that. And then of course you come outside and walk across all the guy ropes. It's like guy rope central around here. Got people up in the corners. And then of course the hodgepodge. That's how I've done it, just to give me some shelter from the wind in the cooking area. Come round here. See the old Brum Preppers machine? There you go. That's the old Mr. Tightwad tarp coming in useful there. Look, there's a secondary cover. And there we are. And the rest of the guys over in that corner there, you see the white top dome thing. That's uh, Plastic Yank, Robert McKenzie and Tank Top. Over there, look. People, people, people. Yeah, that's why I say we go. More people arriving time so there we are just a quick shot of where I'm what I'm doing I'll just up in the uh, wooden at Broadstone which has been on a tree identification course and I managed to identify that they are all indeed trees now we're up here we see some of the rocks where Broadstone gets its name huge bits of rock look like concrete but they're not it's just where you get the uh, the word concretion from oh wow yeah, yes indeed right back in a bit well, the wind was pretty horrendous last night. It blew and it blew and then it blew some more and then it was fed up blowing. It blew some more even again. I mean, bloody hell, Baldrick, that was a lot of wind. And it wasn't even because I'd had onions. But I am pleased to say that everything stayed where it should have been. So we actually... Oh, yeah, Mark Three. I'll show you that in a minute. We actually got away with that because all that wind blowing and blowing and blowing against this Heath Robinson set up and it all stayed in place so that is not bad like I said these sheets are on the back of the uh, Karenex they just block off the end of my sticky out awning thing so that I've got that sheltered cook area you see so there we go brilliant stuff brilliant stuff I tell you now what was going to show you yes look at this this if you remember last FOD visit, I bought the Mark 1 version of this, and this is the Mark 3. Now as you can see, it's got extra bars on it for roasting and putting your pots and pans on. It's got the adjustable grill at the front, and of course the adjustable legs. But the difference with this one is, the side screens that you see there, okay, they hinge, and they fold flat against the lid. And then the lid, of course, as the name implies, folds over and locks down, so that all of, all of this you see with the pointing finger da, 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 goes down into here all right and then you close the lid up and it is one tiny flat but quite heavy uh, barbecue box yeah all the legs go inside as well so like I said you've only got actually this much thickness to store so that sits in the back of the Land Rover quite nicely 
So I was pleased with that. The old woody wood prepper done me proud there, look. Yeah. And of course I've still got the, the pot hanger and the rake there thing that goes with it. So you can do all kinds of permutations with a machine like that. Not as I said, all handmade by a friend of mine, so that makes it even more uh, special to own. So there we are. Like I said, just a quick view to show that we did survive the wind and rain. Not even sunk into the ground. Bloody elbow trick. And now lots of other people have turned up. Although, of course, they're all in their little shelters. Or all under a communal shelter. Yeah, right. So, that was pretty cool. Right. Later.